ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Little Potato. This is Giant Machines 2017. He's talking about something. Okay, great. Fantastic. Anyway, in the last episode, we ended up destroying a couple of walls. Um, it was kind of cool. Um, and kind of tedious as well. And then we also collected some uranium samples, which was kind of unsafe and uh, a little bit too casual, if you ask me, but hey-ho. Uh, prepare the haul truck. Really? What? Is this some sort of a fucking game? There we go. We're switched on. Oh my god, we need a battery. What a piece of shit. Okay, great. So we're going to be doing some regular old mining in this episode. I don't really know what we've got in store for us because, as is the way of this game, you know, you get halfway through an episode and suddenly you're cutting logs after you were transporting something. I... I don't know. I don't know how this game operates. I just go with the flow. I really do. All right. I have no idea. I have no Get idea how many volts. And head on over to the ex Get on in the hole truck and head on over to the excavation. Sweet. Don't radio. Stop it, please. Handbrake off. All right. Reach the extraction zone. Reach the extraction zone. Okay, where are we going? 500 meters in that direction. This thing controls super, super, super badly. Like, I remember it being super slippy on desert roads. And now, we're not even on desert roads. Also, I remember being able to get up to, like, 60 miles an hour on main roads in this truck, so why can I not get up to a similar sort of speed in, uh, on country roads? I mean, I guess we might be able to build up a little bit of, a little bit of speed. Never know. I don't really want to go over these bumps too much, because otherwise they're probably going to muck around with physics a little bit. And, uh, you know, games like these have a, have a tendency, whoa, have a tendency to, to muck around with physics a little bit. It happens. I guess we are kind of going up a hill, which makes sense how things are kind of a little bit slower than they would be on just flat terrain. But no matter. We'll make it there eventually. We'll make it there eventually. Something else that's a little bit weird is that we've never really been constrained by fuel. Like, there was one there was one mission that we had a timer for, but that's the only mission that we really had any issues with. What is that? Is that just lights there? Huh, cool. Um, yeah, there's never been a mission where we haven't had enough fuel. I think there probably will be. Oh god, it's our favorite machine of the entire world up here. Oh goody. Oh goody. Park nearby the hydraulic excavator. Oh god. Is this the same place that we were doing the uranium mining? Oh, that, is that a big fucking pile of uranium? Are you really gonna ask me to mine a big fucking pile of uranium? I'm pretty sure you don't mine uranium like this, but... I I'll be honest, I don't really know how you mine it. Oh, fuck me, we can get quite nippy going, uh, going on the reverse. Hey, hey! I'm sure you remember how to start the hy- I'm sure you remember how to start the hydraulic excavator. I'm sure I do. I'm not even gonna worry about the stairs, you know? Fuck, fuck this, fuck, fuck the stairs. <laughs> fuck the stairs. The electrical circuit is not enabled. I, 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 the, ele the electrical circuit is not enabled. The electrical circuit is not enabled. The electrical circuit is not enabled. Fuck off. The electrical circuit is not enabled. Now, we didn't extract, we didn't take the stairs up, right? But, oh my. For real? We're not even going to be moving far. Ugh, what a fucking waste of time. And why do I need to hold it? Can I not just press the button? I mean, I think this wastes everybody's time. Fucking hold the button down. Jesus Christ. Well, we did it. We bloody well did it. Now what do we need to do? Use the hydraulic excavator to, to load... Stop with your stupid music. Um, use the hydraulic excavator to load 200 tons of uranium, 250 tons of uranium in. Alright. Let's give it a shot, eh? Let's give it a shot. 
Oh. All right. Let's try and retract the claw. Raise it up, retract the claw. All right, put it down. What's the, yeah, this is the, this is the view that we want, right? Okay, and now we're gonna need to, well, raise it up a little bit. Put the bucket down a smidge. And then, oh god, that is, that is some view. And then now, we can use our pro knowledge to open the bucket, just like that. And now we close the bucket, and we go back to the basics. Okay, and now we use T and S so that we, oh shit, wrong one. Uh, no, which one was it we use? S and R, that's the one. Does that work? Like, works a little bit. Didn't really get as much uranium, though. I'll be completely honest. Yeah, two tons of uranium, baby. That was completely worth it. 100% worth it. Alright. Let's remove the handbrake. Let's move in a little bit closer. Oh, man. We're in second gear. I don't even think we can get higher than second gear. Turns out that second gear is the only thing that this thing's got. Okay. Let's give that a shot. How did how did we get so little uranium from that? I swear we should have got more. Alright, well. Let's take it back. I'm gonna be an absolute bucket operator pro by the time that we're done with this. I mean, that's a pretty good job, right? That's that's a pretty... That is a pretty damned good haul of uranium, if I do say so myself. I mean, we're just digging it up in a fucking excavator, you know? Easy peasy. Okay. And now... Extend it outwards. The pressure level is high. Well, let's do the stupidest thing in the entire game and then just release all the pressure. That's pretty pathetic how we have to do it, but hey-ho. Alright, we're almost halfway there, actually. Yeah, we're pretty much exactly almost halfway there. And still, there is a whole bunch of uranium that we are looking forward to mining. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm happy with that. That is a very, very good one. It's a good load. Good load right there. Okay, we're over the truck. Bzzz. Yeah. A couple more loads, actually. Only maybe, like, two more loads. And we'll be pretty much fine. Okay. That would... How did that load end up being so disappointing? says me every time. Uh, but in all seriousness, that really shouldn't have been as bad as it was. And that might mean that we need to do like three loads or whatever. Mm, again, that's not a great load. That's not a thrilling load. It's a sort of load that makes you go... Uh, uh. It's decent. It's moderate. It's nothing special. Put it that way. Alright. Let's... Let's get this on the go. That's a pretty good load in itself, to be honest. Hey, that's not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. Honestly, I don't even want to muck around with moving the bucket around. I'm currently just doing pretty much all the stuff I'm doing from the arm. Yay, one more load, actually. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, all of it's coming from the arm movement. 
but I don't even really want to, to fuck around with the bucket movement. It's not really my cup of tea. Just do not break the arm now. Do not break the arm now. That should be enough, right? That should be more than enough. I'm convinced that that is going to be more than enough. Pressure level is high. Don't really care about pressure level. Okay. And... The Perfect. Whole truck is loaded you can take it back to base. I'll take it back to base. Don't worry about me. Let me just go through the entirely... Irrelevant process of putting down the stairs once again. Jesus Christ. What the fuck even is this game? Just putting the stairs down. Can I get away with that? I can... I can get away with that. Alright, now let's go and move the uranium back. And why am I the only person on site? Like, surely it's very, very suspicious that I'm the only guy around who is, presumably, right, moving a payload, which is pretty darn sensitive, right? Turn the handbrake off. There we go. Yeah, it's a, a payload that's pretty darn sensitive. It's probably quite important to a bunch of people. Why the hell am I the only person on site? Okay, good. I mean... The game looks like it's, uh... The game looks like it's dropping frames, but it's not. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Please do not... Do, do not flip over. We are, we're actually going along at a very, very nice speed here. 70 kilometers per hour. 71, we just hit 71 kilometers per hour. That's very impressive. Although we are coming downhill, so that makes perfect sense. 72, 73 kilometers per hour. 76 kilometers per hour. Oh, God. Oh. That was a close one. But it was also a fun one. So it was worth it in my books. Okay, let's turn around. Because we should have just reversed in here. But we didn't. Okay. Reverse this way. And then reverse this way. And then reverse again in a little bit. But we'll first of all just move out to here. And then we'll reverse, right? Yeah. That's good enough. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Okay. Okay, box trailer up. And we should be golden. Bzzz. There we go, uranium unloaded. Should be pretty darn good. Seems hey, hey, hey. Our first, container our first container is... Oh, thank God there was not more containers than that. Rolling Stones, Madison County, Missouri, USA. That is indeed our next stop. I'm relatively confident that it's going to be something to do with the hauler truck again. Have we maybe already Once been here, actually? Again, the logistics guided us through the plains of... All right. The truck is running low on... Okay, stop. Turn off the music. Okay, we're running low on fuel. Um, I, I tell a lie, actually. I said in the last episode that there's nothing... Was it this episode or the last episode? I can't remember. But there was something to do with the fact that we'd never we'd never really done anything with fuel before. We'd never really had to do anything with fuel. But now it looks like we're gonna be doing something with fuel. The fuel is low. Yes, thank you thank you for pointing that out. That's that's a really great observation. It's okay though. There's a handy fuel stop right here. Yeah. Park it. I'm parked. How am I not parked? I'm pretty fucking parked. Really? For for fuck's sake, really? I'm going to assume that I'm parked. And I'm going to hope that this doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. There we go. Fuel. I do ne I definitely do not count as being parked. Alright, this, this might actually fuck with things a little bit. 
we might explode. Because I am technically connected to the fuel pump. How am I not... What the fuck is going on here? This is... I, I, I'm definitely within the borders. Like, I'm definitely within all the borders. Okay, let's let's keep an extra special eye on this. Yes, within all the borders. Are you are you having a giggle game? Are you having a fucking giggle? Gee, I, I, this, this is actually insanely broken. Because pretty certain there's nothing that I'm doing wrong, even in the slightest. Maybe we need to be on this parking slab thing? Oh, look, there, I found the micrometer that it actually works. Jesus Christ, that is annoying. That is super annoying. I had it. I had it. Thank God the fuel station didn't blow up. Refuel the truck. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? I think I might have fucked the game. Fuck. Shit. That's actually horseshit. That is actually horseshit. No, I'm really annoyed at that. That's, um... That's super, super buggy, because... I was there. I deserved that. I, I, there's nothing that shouldn't that should have gone wrong there. There's absolutely nothing that should have gone wrong. And yet, it did. The fuel is low. Again, thank you very much for this, this fantastic insight. Okay, at least we know where we have to... where we have to park this time. And it's not actually within the, uh... It's not within the the boundaries. It's, it's on the slab, right? It's on the metal slab that says parking. Yeah, we need to make sure that our stupidly big truck is on it. Are we fine here? Or are we over? No, we're a little bit over. Good to know. Good to know. Fucking fantastic. Like, this is- this is broken. Like, it's just straight up not fun because it's, um... Because it's broken. Okay. Reverse a little bit. Are we still over? Really? Really? We're still over? Oh, I had it there for a second. There we go. I have no idea how this how this game actually works, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with it. Turn the turn the engine off. Get down the stairs. Because Jesus Christ, you do not want to be working this job. Did wait? Maybe I didn't fuck it up. What am I supposed to? Am I supposed to, like, just turn on the valve, like I did last time, or, like, a few episodes ago? I don't even know what I'm watching for here. Like, what am I even looking at? Next stop, Trucker's Motel. Rutgers Motel. Alright, good. So it turns out that I hadn't fucked it up. I didn't need to click on the gate, the thing. But I thought I'd taken the hose. Ah, whatever. It doesn't matter. The... The game is still broken. Like... 
I can't change that. No, nope. turn off. All right. Um, okay. I wonder what problem is going to uh, is going to get uh, in my way before we arrive at the destination. Will will a, a, a carriageway have fallen down? Will will a, a, a baby be stranded? Is there going to be a hurricane? Is there going to be a snowstorm? Is there going to be a tsunami? You know, I'm just going through the list of natural disasters in my head and, and wondering what it could be. Because there's definitely going to be something that stops me from reaching the trucker's motel. That I can guarantee you. I 100% guarantee you. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. There's going to be something. There's going to be something. Oh. Oh. Let's not drift around a little bit too much. Oh, no. There's rocks in the way. We can't allow them to block the road. No, of course not. Do I get to drive a bulldozer now? I kind of don't want to drive anything apart from a bulldozer. Oh, hell no. There's rocks in the way. There we go. Let's get in the bulldozer, because apparently we can't find a... Oh, shit. It is actually a bulldozer. I cannot believe. I cannot fucking believe it. Now, a bulldozer... Tell me, please, that a bulldozer is easy to drive. I really do not want to drive anything that's difficult to drive. Alright, let's turn the headlights on. Let's turn the radio off. Let's get the camera into something that's actually decent. Alright. Uh, what are the controls? Laid up, laid down. Honestly, bulldozers are... Uh, are probably the preferred tool for the job, for any job, actually. Come on. Oh, you're struggling a little bit, buddy. You're struggling a little bit. There we go. Get that one off. How is How does that still count as being on? Like, I'm providing this service to people free of charge. And they're saying, oh, well, that rock is mostly off, but uh, unfortunately, it's not off enough. Oh, we totally put that little rock back on as well, didn't we? Fuck. There we go. All right, turn around. Four more rocks to get off the road. Is that it? Oh, whoops. Accidentally bulldoze that rock a little bit. I knew there was going to be some sort of a natural disaster. I could have told you that. I, I mean, I did tell you that. You knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Everybody knew it was coming. Alright. I love how I can turn faster than I can actually uh, go forward. That's great. Okay, reverse. Do... A nice turnaround here. And then... Come on. Just this little bit extra. Oh, I've got no fuel. Like, no fuel or battery. That's that's kind of cool, I guess. That's a spirit. Get the bulldozer off the road and get the truck somewhere. Honestly, I have no idea where this, this guy, who are, you know, our mysterious benefactor, I have no idea how he gets all of the, the, ma the machines that he's actually got. Because they just appear out of thin air. You know? It's it's crazy. So many machines, so little time. Okay. Handbrake off. Let's go. Let's go. Try not to put any rocks back on the road in the process. And just leave that highly expensive uh, piece of machinery just out in the middle of nowhere. Why not? Easy peasy, right? No need to worry about the fact that the bulldozer is probably worth more than, well, this truck probably, and the load that it's containing. But, yeah, who knows? Who knows, really? The bulldozer, I'm I'm pretty certain, is uh, very expensive. We've arrived at our destination, and I'm pretty certain that that's going to be the end of the road for us. Tornadoes act in mysterious... Tornadoes act in mysterious ways. Pedal to the metal. Oh god, it's not actually the end of the road for us. I'm pretty sure that we've been here before, right? I'm pretty sure this is just a reused art asset. Also, I'm pretty certain that we, uh... Where's the tornado? Is it coming behind us? 
No, it's in, they're in front of us. So let's just drive into them. Yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure we've already dealt with a tornado. I'm, in fact, I'm literally 100% certain that we've already been uh, through this exact ro route. Road? Route? Either, either or. Yeah, I have no idea why why we're doing the same route over and again, over again. Yeah, I mean, I can recognize all this stuff. You know, all the, the, the broken buildings and stuff, and the tornadoes. It's exactly the same as, like, the second, second or third episode. I can't remember when it was, but 100% sure if you go back and look at it, you'll, you'll see that it's exactly the same. We're also on a timer in this, in this level, so it's kind of horseshit that they repeat the same sort of stuff. That's kind of a little bit, uh, a little bit annoying, really, and a little bit of a, a, a douchebag move. Because what's the fucking point? All I wanted to do was fly a fucking space shuttle, and what do they give me instead? They give me some hydraulic excrepator that allows me to move big walls of fucking snow. I mean, whoa! What? Are you shitting me? I drove through the tornado, and therefore, you decide to shaft me. Alright, that's a little bit rich. Now we're gonna have to drive through this again. Oh my god. What a fucking nuisance. What a fucking nuisance. Also, where the hell is the trucker's motel? Like, aren't we supposed to be stopping for the night? I thought we were supposed to be stopping for the night, like, five miles back along the road. Turns out, no. We're not supposed to be stopping. We're supposed to be driving into the eye of the storm. Quite literally. Again. You know, because we put our lives on the line once in this exact same situation, in this exact same location. Uh, kind of a little bit. Kind of a little bit shitty. Kind of a little bit shitty. At least, fingers crossed, we don't head into the tornado this time. Which, honestly, honestly, tornado versus this truck... I would take this truck any day of the week. Like, I am 100% certain that this truck can face up against pretty much any tornado in the history of, uh, well, that's probably not true, but I'm pretty sure that this tornado is good enough to, uh, I'm pretty sure this truck is good enough to withstand the forces of a tornado. And I'm, oh yeah, I'm pretty certain. Yep, just skirt around that tornado, like, we got fucked last time by it. Make sure that there's no tornadoes in front of us, so that we can't get shafted by another one. If there's an- Ooh, what can I say? I see your need for speed. I see your need for speed. Fucking hell, the uranium cargo is safe, thank god. Ladies and gents, we're gonna be continuing in the next episode, we've only got six more missions to go, so... If we do, you know, it's maybe a couple more episodes, it's not actually that many. But anyway, thank you very, very much for watching, my name of course has been Obed Potato, this has been Giant Machines 2017, and I'll see you next time. Bye!